Hi everyone, this is Mehmet Sheikh and in the last video I have started a video tutorial series on developing a multi-search and multi-filter application using CorePHP, MySQL, jQuery and Bootstrap framework. Okay. In our last video, we have completed the functionality of linking all CSS and JS files with our project and we had created this uh, uh, panel where uh, we are displaying the search employee text box along with an add employee button and we had designed this header which is a table and inside this table we will be displaying the list of employees like this. Okay, so in this video, we will try to complete the feature of connecting our application with our MySQL database and also we will try to fetch all these records from this MySQL table by sending an AJAX POST request using PHP. Okay, uh, so now let us start doing that. Okay, so for that first we need to go to the editor. Okay, so here you can see I have created a folder with a name as config and inside that I have created a db.php file and in this db.php file I have written the code to make a successful connection with the MySQL database. Okay, so for establishing connection with the MySQL database using PHP you need few details like what is the server name, what is the username, password, database name. Okay, so here I have set all those things. Okay, the server name will be localhost or 127.0.0.1 and username will be root and I have not set any password that's why I have left it as blank and uh, I have given the name to the database as data filter and then we need to start creating the connection. Okay, so for creating the connection I am using MySQLi connect method and in that method I am passing all these details like server name, username, password and database name. Okay, and then I am checking if the connection didn't get established successfully then I will be displaying an error message to the user saying that connection failed. Okay, and that error message will be displayed using MySQLi connect error method okay then if the connection successfully gets established then based on the ajax post request made to our mysql server each and every of these records gets fetched out and started displaying here in our table okay so here we have uh, completed the coding of connecting the php script with mysql database okay uh, so now we need to include this db.php file in our action.php file so this action.php file is been used to receive the ajax post request which has been sent from this index.php file okay uh, so now let us first come to the index.php file and let us come to the end of this file okay so all these things whatever markup you can see here we had done all these things in our last video okay. uh, and here you can see I have created a table body okay so here table head gets completed okay which is the header of the table and once we completed the table header then we have created a table body and I have given it as an ID as post list okay so I will be using this post list ID in my jQuery code to display all the records on the table okay okay now let us come at the end of this index.php file okay here you can see i have created an script tag okay and from here we need to make an ajax jquery post request to our action.php file okay uh, so now here you can see i have created a function with the name as fetch data okay and inside this function I have created a variable as action okay and this action which is fetch data I'm going to send it to the action.php file as an ajax post request okay and you can see here I'm creating an ajax request okay dollar dot ajax and then we need to set the URL which means we need to tell that to which file you are trying to make an ajax post request okay so 
I am trying to make an as exposed request to the in action.php file. That's why I have given a name as action.php in the URL. Okay, and method will be post. Okay, and then action. I am sending this action as a data to action.php file. Okay, so the action is fetch data. Okay, so I will use this fetch data in my action.php to get the data from the MySQL table. Okay, uh, next is uh, then I will run a success function. Okay, and along with this function uh, success function, I am passing the data. Okay, and then I will call post list dot html method. Okay, so I am making a call to this post list id inside this success function and i will be passing the data which has been received from this action.php file to this table okay let's comment it out okay. let's enable this alert box now here i have written this fetch data function to make an ajax post request to action.php file then the control should go to the action.php file where we need to include our database configuration details okay uh, so here we need to include that okay here you can see i am including db.php file which is present inside config folder and then i am checking if is set dollar underscore post action okay if the ajax post request is successfully been made to this action.php file and then here I am checking if dollar underscore post action is equals, equals to fetch data, which you can see here. I had created an action as fetch data, and I am checking that if this Ajax post request has that action as fetch data, and that I will be comparing inside my action.php if dollar underscore post action is equals to equals to fetch data, then I will create the query. Okay, and in that query, I am selecting each and every piece of data uh, from data filter table and also I am getting the details from the status table as well. Okay, so I am joining data filter and status table based on the common field status present in both the tables, both in data filter and status. Okay, so now let me just take you to the tables. Okay, so here in the data filter table, we have a field as status, okay, which is an ID. Okay, and in the status table, we have an ID as status ID. Okay, so I'm matching the status of the data filter table with the status ID of the status table. Okay, so that's what I'm doing in this query. Okay, and uh, I'm arranging the data in descending order okay by using order by clause and then here you can see i am making a call to this get data function and i am passing the query to this get data function okay so now i need to create that get data function okay now you can see here i have created that get data function and uh, here this get data function is also accepting a query okay which is this query okay okay and here inside this as well we need to include our db.php file which is our database configuration file okay next here we need to create an output okay and then i'm using mysql i query method and i'm passing the connect object which has been created inside this database configuration file okay here you can see this connect i'm passing to this mysql query method and along with that i'm passing this query to this mysql query method okay and then once i execute this statement okay then i need to check is there any record present inside data filter table or in both the tables uh, that means if there is at least one or more than one record present inside this data filter table then we will be returning those records if there won't be any data present inside both the tables then we will be displaying post not found okay next if we have more than one record present or rows present inside mysql table since we have many records present inside mysql table then we have to iterate over each and every of those rows okay and for that i have used for each loop okay and i will be iterating over those records one by one 
and I will get the details from those rows okay so here you can see I have created a variable as output and in that I have created a row using tr tag and tr tag gets started here and it gets end here and inside that I have created a table data okay tag and in that table data tag I am trying to display the employee name and the task details okay of that employee and also I want to display start date and end date and then finally we will display the status okay yes now let's save it when I refresh okay so okay so nothing gets happened because here we need to come here and we need to call this function fetch data okay, save it now let's refresh okay so you can see the moment when I click on refresh it's displaying the details like uh, uh, employee name uh, task details and then start date end date status okay in the form of an alert because here the moment when this action dot php file sent the data to index dot php here inside the success function i am receiving the response and displaying that response in the form of an alert box okay uh, suppose if i remove it okay and if i enable this post list now when i refresh you will see all the data started displaying in the form of a table okay uh, yes uh, now we need to create that action button okay, so that as well we need to create inside this get data function okay so for creating that action button again we need to create a td tag and inside that td tag we need to create an anchor tag and you can see i have set a style attribute and margin as 5 pixel okay now let's save it and okay now you can see it's started displaying you the links delete links okay uh, now here you can see i want to give it a font awesome icon which is trash icon okay and i have set the size font size of that icon as 10 pixel let's refresh okay uh, trash icon started displaying here and uh, i also want to give it a color okay to the button okay so now you can see the style of the button gets changed and i also want to give it a data val attribute and that data val attribute will have the id of that particular row okay so now when i refresh and and i right click on this and click on inspect now uh, you will see here uh, in the anchor tag you will see data val attribute gets set and the data val attribute value is 15 which is the id of that particular record okay so i will be using this id to delete each and every of this record okay uh, so now let's save it okay so now here you can see at the end i am displaying or i am sending the data okay the entire data of employee name task details start date end date and task status uh, gets appended to this output okay variable and i am sending that output back to this index.php from where i will be making an ajax post request okay so here i will be getting that data and inside this post list which is the id of this table i am displaying the data in the form of html okay uh, so this is how we can make an ajax post request to our mysql server uh, and display or fetch the data from the table and display it on the page okay so i hope you guys have understood this video and if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends and if you guys have not yet subscribed this channel subscribe it and thanks for watching